in the last five, six years, we've had uh, great experiences working with enterprises who were progressive, who were early adapters of digital transformation, who were uh, even early adopters of, of scaling agile journeys in their own enterprise. And, and we learned a lot from those, um, you know, not just in terms of how to scale the frameworks that Save, Dad and Spotify have given us, uh, but also how to make those frameworks real uh, and, and adaptable in complex enterprise environments. Uh, along with those, we also developed uh, frameworks to improve business architecture uh, agility, to improve uh, data intensive uh, enterprise uh, architectures, uh, to change culture models in the enterprise. And I think now we're taking it to a whole new level with the ability to adopt virtual teams in Distributed Agile. And, and that's why we decided to launch uh, virtual uh, Distributed Agile framework. So when we look for creating common culture within Agile, uh, we've been doing distributed agile for a long time because of the nature of our work. But even for ourselves, our distributed agile, so our centers in, in India and elsewhere in the world, we were still together in those centers. So we might have been distributed from our client, but now we got uh, to the point where we had to come out too. And so everyone was in kind of a new normal even those who are used to being you know working virtually away from the team so it's been this great equalizer and i've seen a lot of empathy actually getting built for the first time so everyone i think is upping their game not only to connect better in many ways it's driving the culture we've always sought to to drive with agile from a framework perspective scaling agile we've had that for a while but this this is a different kind of scaling it's a scaling collaboration it's a scaling innovation it's a scaling prioritization it's not just how are we going to do the work how are we going to scale our lives now be able to work with businesses upstream, understand user pain points, needs, motivations, goals, empathy was really high touch and it is very high touch. You had to be in the same physical space to understand how you could visualize something, creation, design, um, the, the act of innovating and being able to share and innovate those things on, on a board physically. And what we found now is this, this virtual distributed agile and now with virtual has really given us a more of an opportunity, I think, because now never before did we think that the world of creativity, user experience and design working with business was ever going to take this turn. And now we, with, with the right platforms and the combination of the right tools, we can actually still deliver those engaging, empathetic, creative visualization type workshops. Um, even you know design thinking workshops that we are conducting conducting now almost on a daily basis. engineering practices that we were enforcing got naturally uh, adopted. We use visual regression to automate a lot of uh, our testing on design subfront. Uh, and, and that's how the UX and the UI engineers have naturally adopted uh, during this uh, pandemic. And when I look at two development engineers adopting, uh, they have inculcated a lot of engineering practices that we were struggling to get teams to adopt. Practices like a Boy Scouts rule, practices of doing continuous code mergers, pull requests. These were all actually a reflection of an engineering, an engineer showing empathy towards a fellow engineer. Yeah.